Moosehead Lake supports many activities year-round. Here are some pictures of a July road trip we took up the northern road to the Pittston Farm in Rockwood. First, let me show you how to get to this scenic route. Moosehead is located in northwestern Maine, right about here. From Portland, it takes about three hours to drive to Greenville, and then Rockwood is another 18 miles north of Greenville, heading up the west side of the lake. The Northern Road runs through logging country that at one time was managed by the Great Northern Paper Company, which no longer exists. The Northern Road is fairly well maintained, but it is a dirt road. Several times we came across tree branches marking washed out areas and deep holes. We also had to keep an eye out for big rocks and puddles as it had rained heavily the night before our trip. The drive from Rockwood to Pittston Farm is about 20 miles and it takes about 40 minutes as you won't be going very fast for most of the way. This is logging country and moose country. Unfortunately, we didn't see a moose this trip. However, a big beautiful doe and her fawn crossed the road right in front of us. Of course, by the time I got the camera ready, they were already in the woods. That's the doe right there in the woods. See? Ah, uh, well, let me zoom in and point to her. Well, anyway, she stood there in the woods watching us, watching her. It was really beautiful. Along the Northern Road, you'll see a few old buildings from the Great Northern Paper Days. This one used to be a garage. You also see some signs for Pittston Farm along the Northern Road. Yeah, I know, this one's a little hard to see and you might miss it if you're not looking for it. There are other signs less hidden by the greenery. However, I highly recommend having a main gazetteer handy so you don't take a wrong turn on one of the many side roads or old logging roads. Believe me, you wouldn't want to get lost out here. After a bumpy but beautiful ride, we arrived at the historic Pittston Farm. We had a nice lunch in the restaurant, which occupies what was the old boarding house when Pittston Farm was in full swing back in the early 1900s. It used to be a working farm and the logging camp headquarters for the Maine Northern Paper Company. I believe that Pittston Farm is now the last remaining logging supply depot. It's also a year-round tourist destination and it's in the National Registry of Historic Sites. Since it's surrounded by almost 400,000 acres of wilderness, it's a popular place for ATV riders, snowmobilers, hunters, fishermen, and people who like the North Woods, like me. There were more ATVs than trucks or SUVs parked out front of the restaurant. The view from the farm is spectacular as it overlooks Sabumic Lake. And by the way, lunch was pretty darn good too. We had hamburgers on amazing homemade wheat rolls with hand cut french fries. I highly recommend you arrive hungry and enjoy some of the good home cooking. This old barn is now a museum. There's a small but nice collection of antiques, mostly logging tools. But there was also this old telephone switchboard, which reminded Jim, my travel partner and a retired game warden, of a story he heard while working up in the northern woods. Hey Jim, tell that story again. In a story related to me by Claire Desmond, a retired forest ranger, I was told that in the early 1900s there was a network of fire towers used to report forest fires throughout the main north woods. These remote towers were connected to firefighting resources such as the men and equipment at Pittston Farm by miles of steel telephone wire strung through the woods. If a branch or other grounding material touched the wire, the telephone wouldn't work. It was the job of young forest rangers to patrol these miles and miles of wire on foot through the woods to make sure the wires were clear of debris and to repair any breaks. If a fire was reported, it was the forest ranger's job to walk to the fire with hand tools and canvas buckets to put the fire out. Most of these remote fires were caused by lightning strikes. Hey, thanks Jim for sharing that. Back to the museum. In addition to the antiques, there's a wall of nicely preserved photographs of old buildings and sites from the area. If you look up, the roof of the barn shows you what a sturdy structure they built back in the early 1900s. I really like this sign, which you can only see partially in this picture, but you can probably guess that it says, The Adventure That Lasts a Lifetime. I'm not sure what adventure the sign was referring to, but I sure like my adventure to and from the Pittston Farm via the Northern Road in Rockwood, Maine. Hey, yeah, it's just up the rudder piece.